morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak. Today is the seventh day in the octave of Christmas. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Christ is born for us, come let us adore him. Christ is born for us, come let us adore him. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Christ is born for us, come let us adore him. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Christ is born for us, come let us adore him. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Christ is born for us, come let us adore him. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Christ is born for us, come let us adore him. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Please be seated. Tell us, shepherds, what have you seen? Who has appeared on earth? We have seen a newborn infant and a choir of angels praising the Lord. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. The angel said to the shepherds, I proclaim to you a great joy. Today, the Savior of the world is born for you. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exhort him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord, praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills bless the Lord, everything growing from the earth bless the Lord. The springs bless the Lord, seas and rivers bless the Lord. The dolphins and all water creatures bless the Lord. All you birds of the air bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. 
Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priest of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. You is worthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. A little child is born for us today, little and yet called the mighty God. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take the rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged or sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the nativity of your Son established the beginning and fulfillment of all religion, grant, we pray, that we may be numbered among those who belong to him, in whom is the fullness of human salvation, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, it is the last hour. And just as you heard that the Antichrist was coming, so now many Antichrists have appeared. Thus we know this is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not really of our number. If they had been, they would have remained with us. Their desertion shows that none of them was our number. But you have the anointing that comes from the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. I write to you not because you do not know the truth, but because you do, and because every lie is alien to the truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult before the Lord. Let the heaven be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Please stand. became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted him, he gave power to become the children of God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace, because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God the only begotten Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed Him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please visit it. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawang. Ilang oras na lang po, may isang bagong taon na naman ang papasok. Hindi ko alam kung buong mundo o baka tayo lang, kultura natin na pag bagong taon, magsisala, magsisilabasan ang mga New Year's Resolution. Pustahan po tayo. Karamihan po sa inyong mga New Year's Resolution in New Year's Resolution nyo din last year at yung mga nakaraang taon pa. Paulit-ulit, wala pong nangyari. May napanood po akong, ay oh, napanood, nakita, may nakita akong picture sa social media. Before and after, si Johnny nag -e exercise So, yung pinakita yung picture niya, Two weeks before and two weeks after. So, sinabi sa caption, This is Johnny. After two weeks, he lost two weeks. Nawalan lang siya ng dalawang linggo, pero hindi po siya pumayat. Sa picture na yun, malamang hindi natin nakita yung details. Bakit hindi po siya pumayat? Eh kung nagja-jogging naman siya, eh baka naman po yung lamo niya pang isang buwan. Eh yung jogging niya pang two weeks lang. Siguro po sa mga panahong ito, pinakamagandang gawin, balikan po muna natin ang nakaraang taon, ang kabuuan ng 2022. Bago po natin tanggapin ang bagong grasya, ng 2023. Sana po buhay tayo lahat sa buong taon na yan. Kumusta po kayo sa taong 2022? Ano ho ang mga kaganapan sa buhay nyo? Ano ho yung mga 
bigo na pangyayari sa buhay nyo. At ano rin ho ang tagumpay ng na mga nangyari sa buhay nyo. Tagumpay man o bigo, marami po tayong dapat na matutunan doon po sa ating mga experience na iyon. Kahit hindi nga lang po sa 2022 eh, pati nga po kahit yung mga past few years, marami po dapat tayong matutunan. At yung mga dapat po nating matutunan, ay eh dapat po dalhin natin ang mga iyon. Ano din po yung mga dapat nating ipagpasalamat? Minsan, yung pagpagpasalamat para lang sa mga taong masaya. Sa sobrang saya, thank you Lord. Pero pag hindi ka masaya, parang makakalimutan nating magpasalamat. Kayo po ba, nakapagpasalamat na po ba kayo nang hindi kayo masaya? Mahira po yan. Pero ganun pa man po, kahit minsan hindi masaya, kahit minsan malungkot, kahit minsan hindi maganda ang takbo ng buhay, kung titingnan po natin ang mabuti, marami po tayong dapat na ipagpasalamat. Ano din po yung mga dapat nating baguhin? Ayon. Napaka-importante po ng bagay na yon. Kasi kung ayaw natin yung maulit, ang mga bagay na hindi natin gusto maulit sa pagdating ng bagong taon, abay dapat nating baguhin iyon. Huwag na nating dalhin, huwag na nating ulitin. At ang panghuli po, ano yung mga dapat kalimutan at ipagpasa Diyos? Ito po yung gusto kong bigyan ng diin. Ano po yung mga dapat kalimutan at ipagpasa Diyos na bitiwan mo na, ibigay mo na sa Kanya, bagong taon na, huwag mo nang dalhin, baka makapagpapabigat lang yan sa takbo ng buhay mo. Yun po yung mga tinatawag na mga taong hindi nakakapag-move on. Minsan po may lalapit. Father, bless me po. Broken hearted po ako. Oh, tapos tatanungin mo, kailan ka broken hearted? O oh, five years ago na. O ba, imagine mo five years ago kang nagtiis, hindi ka man lang nag-move on. Father, hindi po ako nakapasa sa board exams. Kailan ka huling nag-take? O ba, many, many years ago na, heartbroken ka pa rin. Marami na po dapat na pagkakataon na nakabangon. Pero po ano ang nangyari? Bakit po napakalungkot pa rin? Ilang taon na po yung nakalipas. Hindi po nakapag-move on. Madalas, nakafocus yung ang ating atensyon doon sa mga pangit na nangyari. At pag nakafocus tayo doon, ang hirap tingnan ng mga magagandang bagay na nangyari sa ating buhay. Kung hindi po kayo marunong maglibing ng mga hindi magagandang pangyayari sa inyong buhay, tandaan niyo po, yung mga hindi magandang pangyayari sa buhay niyo ang siyang maglilibing sa inyo kasi ilang taon kayong dadalhin din niya para hindi kayo sumaya. Kung gusto niyong sumaya, ilibing niyo na. Pakitingnan po inyong mga katabi kung mukha po bang masaya. Kasi pag maraming bagahe yan, aba po, siguro is the right time, may ilang oras pa bago pumasok ang bagong taon. Pwede din po nating sabihin na ang bagong taon, bagong buhay, bagong pag-asa, bagong kwento. Tayo po yung writer ng buhay natin. Tayo po din yung director at kasa sa kasamaang palad, tayo din po yung aktor. Kaya galingan natin yung pagsulat ng chapter ng buhay natin. Galingan din natin yung pagdirect ng buhay natin. Nang sa ganun, pag umarte na tayo sa mundong ibabaw, ipiliin natin yung napakagandang role. Huwag niyong piliin yung pangit. Dapat tayo yung bida sa sarili nating kwento sa sarili nating pelikula. Kung ang salita po ng Diyos 
ay hindi natatapos sa pagiging salita lamang yung nakasulat dito. Ito po ay nagtatapos sa kanyang mga gawa. Ang sinabi, may isang Diyos na pupunta dito sa lupa. Nangyari na. Pumunta sa lupa. Save everyone here on earth. Ngayon natapos na. Nagawa na niya ang kanyang mga tungkulin. It's a reason for us to be happy. Nawa ganun din po tayo. Yung ating mga resolution this year at kahit yung mga nakaraang taon na hindi pa natin nagawa, wago tayong mawala ng pag-asa. Kailangan lang natin to put it into action. Kailangan po natin gawin. Wag lang po natin isulat. At nawa po maramdaman natin ang tunay na pagbabago ng takbo ng ating buhay at lumbusan po tayong sumaya sa mga darating pa pong mga taon. Magsitayo po tayo. As the year ends, let us praise and thank God for the many blessings He showered upon us and most especially, the gift of His Son, Jesus. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to spread the joy of the coming of Jesus, our Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government's leaders and officials may look to God's Word as the foundation and goal of their efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by our witness of life, we may bring the light of, this, of Jesus to those who lives were darkened by sin and misery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may see in the coming of Jesus the hope of complete healing and recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our, mission, for our missions and for our brothers and ministry at Guma Santo Biara Santo Dominicus and Guma Biara Thomas Aquino in Indonesia, Saint Dominic in Sri Lanka, Saint Antoninus in General Santos, Kamigin and Kalayan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims, of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our faithful departed may share in the light of heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for sharing your life with us. May we leave sin behind as we cross another year. Fill us with light, hope, and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Bless are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Bless are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy truths. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
plus 10. Suddenly there was with an there was with the angel a great company of heavenly hosts, praising God and singing, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has risen up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Suddenly there was with the angel a great company of the heavenly hosts, praising God and singing, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Alleluia. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. Mag-iingat po tayo sa pag -uwi. Maligayang bagong taon, laway sa lubungin natin ito ng bagong buhay at bagong pag-asa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Alalahanin na rin po natin yung ating mga mahal sa buhay na may sakit. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Pakilabas po kung meron kayong mga dala. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawan, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.